Hi, everyone. I'm Laura Stein, and I'm really proud to be the co-chair of the advisory board for Corporate Pro Bono. And uh, Corporate Pro Bono is a project that the Association of Corporate Counsel and Pro Bono Institute formed a number of years ago, uh, trying to encourage in-house lawyers to do more uh, pro bono. Uh, to my right is my good friend and the new president of the Association of Corporate Counsel, Vita Richardson, and uh, she'll be presenting the award tonight. So this is just really a terrific event for the Pro Bono Institute and Corporate Pro Bono. Tonight we celebrate just a great forward march of legal pro bono, not just here in the United States, but across the world. When PBI was formed 15 years ago, formalization of pro bono was really just starting at many law firms and unfortunately it was pretty much a foreign concept uh, for in-house law departments. And now, just 15 years later, it's really an integral part of the fabric of how we practice law in the United States, and we're really expanding our reach abroad. The law firms and legal departments that are represented here tonight have made a wonderful commitment to improve the communities in which we live and work through the practice of pro bono. So Vita will share with you in just a minute the winners of the corporate pro bono organization Pro Bono Partner Award. Partnership and collaboration have really been at the heart of the Pro Bono Institute model, as evidenced by the real great partnership that ACC and PBI formed uh, back in the early 2000s. So what we do is by building relationships between and among law firms, legal departments, public interest organizations, and others, we promote innovative ways to encourage and transform legal services provided to communities and people in need. When groups that care come together, they're so much better than the sum of their individual parts. Together, in partnership and pro bono, we can really do amazing things and create justice in the world. So back in 2003, Corporate Pro Bono presented the first annual CPBO Partner Award. This award has stood for the importance of sharing resources to meet the legal needs of our disadvantaged neighbors. As is true for the past recipients of this award, who we recognized earlier this evening, the recipients of this year's award embody the spirit, spirit of cooperation and collaboration through their work. So I'm really proud to turn the podium over to Vida to present the partner award. Thanks, Laura. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Laura, and good evening, everyone. It is my pleasure to be here tonight, and we thank you all for coming out to support the Pro Bono Institute in this annual dinner. It's wonderful to see everyone here in celebration of the pro bono accomplishments of so many legal departments and law firms, and it is my distinct honor to present the 2011 CPBO Pro Bono Partner Award. This award recognizes projects and programs that demonstrate effective cooperation between legal departments, law firms, and or public interest organizations. To receive the award, projects must provide a significant benefit to a local community. The project must demonstrate a high degree of participation by in-house lawyers, and it must show a unique and innovative approach to, to the delivery of pro bono legal services. These are very high standards, and the 2011 Pro Bono Award recipients meet them commendably. On behalf of Corporate Pro Bono, I am proud to announce the 2011 CPBO Pro Bono A Partner Award winners, Verizon Communications, Inc., in partnership with DLA Piper, LLP, for their national and now global partnership to address veterans, education, and domestic violence issues through pro bono service. I think that's worth applauding. Yeah. Since launching its program, over half of Verizon's 400 in-house attorneys have participated in this partnership, which has represented individuals and communities in need in 20 states the District of Columbia, and abroad. 
Verizon and DLA Piper attorneys have come together to assist veterans applying for combat-related special compensation to work with small business owners in San Francisco to conduct legal assessments for nonprofits in New Jersey to work with victims of domestic violence in New York and much, much more. But that is only part of this fantastic story. It isn't just what these two organizations are doing, it's how they are doing it. Verizon and DLA Piper have found innovative technological solutions to push the boundaries of the scope and feasibility of a nationwide pro bono partnership. They've established online e-room resource libraries and broadcast trainings across the country. In addition, they have expanded their efforts, as I mentioned, to communities outside the United States. The value of the work done by these two organizations and their innovative approaches to collaboration inspire great hope for the future of large-scale pro bono partnerships. So therefore, we are pleased to rec recognize them. Accepting the award on behalf of this fantastic partnership is Randy Milch, Executive Vice President and General Counsel for Verizon.